Will this launch gold on June 27th? Why I'm doubling down on my gold purchases. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. Really appreciate you checking out my videos, liking my videos, sharing them around, and of course, subscribing to my channel. You guys are awesome. I just got my latest gold coin from around the world and I am so jacked to open it up here on this video. And I also wanted to shout out the fantastic people at SD Bullion. That's where I bought this from. They've got great prices, awesome selection, wonderful service, and <laughs> they're at 8,000 Yankee Road. I mean, how cool is that, right? Feel free to, to use my new link to uh, SD Bullion in the description of this video. I'm one of their new affiliates. I get a small, small percentage of any sales that goes through my referral link. It doesn't cost you an extra dime. But no pressure, you get your gold and silver wherever it is that you feel most comfortable getting it. As you may know, my latest gold purchase is part of a tour around the major mints of the world as I attempt to build my gold stack, along with silver. Okay, I, I haven't stopped stacking silver. Okay, I'm just focusing more this year on the lower premium that gold affords right now. So I'm, I'm gonna open this up and show you what I got, but I'll do that at the end. I really want to talk to you about where I think gold is going and how excited I am to be stacking it right now. We've already seen gold make a nice little surge recently, haven't we? But I think it's just the beginning. Now, I don't have a crystal ball. I'm, I'm not giving professional financial advice here, but I do think gold is getting ready to launch. Why? you may ask. Well, there are many reasons. I've told uh, many of them in the past, but in this video, I'm going to give you four words. Net stable funding ratio. Net stable funding ratio, or NSFR for short. What's that, Yankee? <laughs> well, it's a new provision, or should I say requirement, that is about to take hold in London on June 27th. You may or may not have heard of Basel III. It's a series of regulations from the Bank for International Settlements. Many of the regulations for Basel III have been delayed due to COVID-19, or at least that's the excuse they're giving, but one of them hasn't been moved, and it's the NSFR. It's scheduled to hit on June 27th. And from what I've read, okay, this particular regulation could wipe out the settlement and clearing system for unallocated gold and silver. You know, the, the paper stuff, the synthetic stuff that I talked about and explained in a recent video. Its regulation is focused, though, on gold and the discount applied for calculating its liquidity buffer. That is what's known as the net stable funding ratio. It's going to increase from 50% all the way up to 85%. Okay, big deal, Yankee. What, what, what are you talking about? Well, it is a big deal. You see, the London Bullion Market Association, or LBMA, is kind of like our COMEX. The LBMA is affected by this net stable funding ratio change in a big way. Why? Well, because it's a derivative gold market. It would require all the London Bullion banks to hold funds offsetting 85% of the value of the unallocated gold they hold for customers. And the LBMA says the banks just can't afford this. So it is a big deal, and I think it's going to have some incredible consequences. In fact, Anthony Anderson, the VP of Sales and Marketing at GSI Exchange, said this, This change will make it far more attractive for central banks and banks to hold gold as part of their liquidity profiles and bolster the gold rush 
we are already seeing from central banks and global financial institutions. You see, Basel III declared gold as a tier one asset. On the same tier and as liquid as cash. Banks can count gold as a reserve asset on their balance sheets. But the LBMA doesn't want this to happen. You see, with the new 85% requirement, the LBMA would likely see the cost of the clearing and settlement services go up. The cost of business across the supply chain go up. And market liquidity go down. That's the real fear, right? The, the liquidity piece is going to be affected negatively. Now, some banks just won't be able to meet this 85% ratio, and they're going to look to get out of the market. That will mean the derivative market in London would shrink. London. <laughs> I'm, sh I'm showing this Britannia. Yeah. Okay. And, and when that happens, that could mean the ability of London to meet the requirements of of the gold market from a derivatives perspective would go way down too. It could trigger the end of the gold derivative suppression scheme that we all know is going on, all right? Now, if you, you don't think this is a big deal, on May 4th, the LBMA filed a complaint letter saying that the net stable funding ratio provision in the Basel III regulations would be cataclysmic. In fact, they say that an 85% change, right, that we were talking about, would, would force banks to exit the clearing and settlement system, which may even be at risk of collapsing completely. All right? They said it would drain liquidity. They say without this liquidity, there would be a material deleterious effect on the global precious metals market. They said it would raise costs that would impact miners, restrict refining, and raise the cost of inelastic key input to industrial and consumer goods. And finally, they say it would curtail central bank operations. Again, around liquidity. They also say that these effects would not just be limited to the London over-the-counter market, but would be felt globally across the entire gold value chain. But of course, there's going to be a bunch of scrambling and shenanigans by the LBMA and others. I, I, they're going to fight this. There's, there's no doubt in my mind. I think they have no choice but to fight it. The impact is too great. Maybe they'll, I don't know, get an extension on it because of COVID or something. I don't know, but they're running out of time. I mean, I'm, I'm recording this on May 11th. June 27th is looming large. But how long can they fight it? I think it's possibly tied to the emergence of central bank digital currencies, CBDCs. And I think they're going to need a few more years to get that underway around the world. And they can't just let the manipulation just go all at once. No, I, I think we have time before the fiat collapse. But I do think that Basel III and the event that is coming on June 27th could be the start of a massive rise in gold price. I think we could likely see 2,000, 2,100 as a floor for gold in the short term. Remember, it's in the best interests of central banks around the world and governments not to let gold run hot too fast. Banks that want to exit the gold derivatives markets are going to want to do it slowly, not all at once. So we're going to see a, a progression here of gold making some new highs, I believe, and, and, and establishing stronger floors. But regardless, I want to keep building my own personal gold reserves ahead of what I am convinced is coming. So let's, let's open this box up and find out what I got. All right, the wrapping's gone. <laughs> 8,000 Yankee. They did that for me, I'm sure. All right, now we pull it out of the box. And look at this, an airtight. Oh, sweet. This is great. I was, I was gonna have to get an airtight to put it in. Looking to sell. Yeah, they might want your gold and silver, but they're not getting mine. Oh, there 
it is. A gold panda. Look at that. Oh, and it is the one ounce version. This is prior to them changing to grams. Check it out. 2012. This is beautiful. I had to get something from the Far East. China. I know some people may not like the panda and all that. Ah, yes, put, put your feelings about this coin in the comments below. I'm not a big fan of China, but I did want to get one of the pandas. Well, I'm going to put it in the airtight and uh, we'll add it to my world tour collection. If you're interested in buying some gold or silver at SD Bullion, check out the link, uh, my affiliate link. Thank you so much for watching, and I really do appreciate it. And I hope your day is A-OK. -okay.